What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. And to pick up where we left off, we have got another series of awesome battles coming up. But firstly, we must knock down the walls here at Tangier and attack the Spanish because actually they will... Yeah, the Spanish will soon be dead at Cagliari. We will open up another front against the Austrians here in North Africa and then we can continue our war. But firstly... We're going to knock out the garrisons. They've got some howitzers to watch out for. Um, a couple of units of reasonable infantry. A bunch of militia units. So I don't think we're going to be too worried. Because we've got quite an uh, elite heavy force here. So let's take them out. So we're going to capture Morocco. And continue our advance. And it also gives us control over the Mediterranean. As no one will be able to pass Gibraltar the Straits of Gibraltar without our approval. But yes, we must continue our war. It was good to be, that we knocked out Bavaria, because that's another uh, potential... Oh, this area is a bit... Hmm. A bit lumpy. I mean, that's quite a good spot for... Okay, in a, uni in a twist of events, this is going to be where my assault comes in. So my garrison guards and my marines go here, and this is where my actual... Ooh, even then, that's pretty ugly. So I'm stuck with horse artillery. They do have the range to hit the walls, which is great. I also have one last unit of howitzers, which is going to try and use terrain to mask themselves against the gun gunfire from the town. There we go. Let's have at it. You guys focus on the wall. You guys focus on that infantry unit. If you could even hit them. Because that would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome hit if you can get them. Oh, they got a good chunk. Unfortunately, my heart is up front. They're firing regular shots. Let's get them firing quick line. Let's get one of them to start quick climbing the middle, the center. Oh, this horse artillery should make a. Should have a good crack at trying to break into the city. Let's attack ground here. So in comes the quick line from my howitzers. So I'm curious actually, if you guys can load and fire a musket shot. Yeah, they are still hitting my troops. Although you guys are hidden, so they must be aiming at the artillery and accidentally hitting you guys. So if the how it's oh they're gonna fire, they're gonna fire. Quick line. Miss miss hit. Yes. That'll thin them out. My horse artillery is Decided to change target, seemingly. So being light to caliber guns, I think they should. Do they reload faster than heavy caliber guns? There we go, the shells come flying in. Oh, I took out a bunch of guys on the up here and knocked out get knocked out one of their artillery pieces. I mean, this this Howard's team is well placed to do a huge amount of damage. So if you guys, let's... We assume nothing interesting is going to happen while I speed up time. Because I want to watch these Howard's fire. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. You fool. Full <laughs> Spain. Let's re target 
want you guys to start hitting more direct hitting the center more directly you guys hit the sixth regiment because yeah these guys are they're done for and this is the thing with having horse artillery it's not i mean hey they're missing the guns but because they're so, they're so light caliber they take more time they see more time to destroy the walls, which means more troops are killed through quicklime. Don't worry, General. Your time will come. Bang! Whoa! They all fell off, landed on their feet, and then died. They finally realized that this area is pretty dangerous. So much death for the, this regiment of artillery that has no name. But now let's just speed up time because uh, we are just. I mean, this is going to be a hell of a slaughter because uh, we're just not going to be able to crack down the walls fast enough. Okay, right. Now they're done. So let's start our advance. We could just let the quick climb do most of the work, but that's not... I mean, we've already let it do quite a lot of work already. Just the odd knee stuck up in the air. That's right, you guys. You, all, you look over the wall. I'm not even going to dignify them with a look. They do look good. And this howitzer here. Switch to round shot and start dropping it on the center. Actually, you guys, if I attack ground there, that should go through the wall and hit the armed citizenry. Here comes the push. Let's make you guys attack there, you guys attack there, you guys hunker down outside the gates. The garrison guards are going to get shot, as are the marines. Get one regiment of line to scale the wall. Uh, scale the wall to start fighting the Amazons. Yeah, there we go. So they did kill a whole bunch of armed citizenry. Let's get that howitzer to start dropping some in this in the breach because there's no one there. It's those guys firing. Horse grenadier guards are coming in. Here charges. Yeah, but this is why I have units like this. There we go. Quick climb into the breach. That will have done a real number on those chaps. No, they're going to try and run in the door because it's open. It's like, no, that's not what I want at all. Run up the ladders because they're right there. Run up the... Um, not the ladders, but the, the ropes. So these marines get over here and also start to hit the desert warriors. Let's switch all our how it's just a round shot. They can all drop shots on the 6th in the centre. The line infantry unit got routed by 
buyer from the Amazons. So you go, oh, there's a Fusiliers. <sighs> yep, it's beautiful chaos. Let's get some units into the breach. You guys get out of there and attack those Amazons. I meant to drop you guys in the square. Let's get my engineers over the wall. My marines and my garrison guards are going to knock out the desert warriors. They might be winning for now, but not for long. You guys knock out that regiment of foot. It's down to one man. The 17th regiment, he's pretty elite, but not elite enough. Charge the Amazons because they're chasing after the that regiment of foot that's routing. Let's run engineers through the door if they'll let us. That's right. Charge the charge the Grenadier Guards. Provincial cavalry have been trapped. They can't really go anywhere. Let's get my these um, engineers off the wall and start fighting the howitzers. This unit came back, so you can run over here. See they, yeah they're they're bugged out because they're trying to run towards the guns, so sometimes you have to give them a a uh, attack ground order. Okay, you guys drop into square, because now they're attacking you. Yeah, the Grenadier Guards are winning. Those, no, those are dragoons that came up here. Okay, you guys are going to try and charge down the wall into the Amazons. Don't, I'm not so bothered about capturing the the gate because we know we're going to get it. You men form up. Okay, you have to hit the engineers in the rear. Kill the third regiment. Taken down. There you go, they've been knocked out, so let's run these men in. You guys take out the howitzer crew. My line infantry are losing against the Amazons, but that surely won't last for too much longer. Because they're only light troops. Okay, you guys fire at will and engage the 6th regiment who are right there. That's who my artillery is shooting at. Okay, they're bugging out. Very well. You men form a firing squad. There we go. So we've taken the... this building. So now two engineer units can both attack the horse guards. These men are going to reload and then just open up uh, howitzers. Attack the centre. Oh, and they're firing at the artillery, so they are... Well, they were. They were um, firing by rank. So if we're going to move my infantry up, let's halt the fire, the artillery fire. Did these guys pull back? Looks like they did. Well, there you go. Looks like the... Yeah, they... They have broken. They didn't even stand to defend this square. The 6th Regiment, they're in, they were in fairly good shape. But I'll take the victory. So that's another step on the road to victory.
So Morocco is ours. That Spanish priest is working to our benefit. So you men can replenish and get ready. Have a small Spanish army down there. But that's not a problem. I mean, I might just... To be honest, I should probably... Do I attack? I think I do. If I attack, that is the end of Spain itself. So let's do this. Because then that will also get rid of the Spanish ships and the army and the priests that are down in my territory in Morocco. So they got they outnumber us, but uh, I feel we are up to the strength. We are up to the challenge, and we have the strength to see the final victory. So let's see how the deployment looks. Oh yes, this is this is delightful. So I want to put my guns up on this really high ground up here with a commanding view of the entire their entire deployment zone. How it says it gonna go here. So let's deploy a good formation up front. Deploy our cavalry on either flank. So I'm a bit cagey about deployment. So let's let my let's keep some infantry in reserve for once. My artillery has an exceptional view. So the second regiment of horse of They've taken some hits. My howitzers have also opened up. Let's get my howitzers to actually hit the 23rd. And... Should get them to shoot this regiment of horse as they come in. I am curious as to where they will... Where the reinforcements will come in from. So here's another volley of my field artillery coming in. Second regiment are gone. Focus on the ninth. How does shrapnel shot look? Yeah, I've got a long way to go. Shrapnel shot. Yeah, the twenty third have been utterly smashed. I am very curious to see where their reinforcements come in, and they are going to. Some of their units are going to advance around to the right of the town, so. But I am mighty sceptical, because the AI likes to do this sort of thing. Oh, the deployment zone here is pretty... pretty poor. Should have advanced them a bit further up and had a better look. Oh, they got shot in the rear by their own cavalry. By their own... yeah, by their own cavalry. Very well. My deployment zone is deployment is terrible. So they've advanced up to us. Start to hit their artillery. There's one unit of cavalry routed. Let's hope we can route this unit of carabiners. So I want you guys to go to here. Yeah, they haven't completely routed, but better than... It's better than uh, them not routing. God, look at that big cluster of troops there that got quicklimed. Delicious. There we go. So they should have a better... a better firing position. Both my quick climbing howitzers aim at this front unit because any misses will kill so many men. Because they are advancing in a column like formation. Fuel artillery focus on the ninth, don't worry about the column. The Spanish column will get chewed up. 
by musket fire. Here comes the quick climb. It might be too close though. Got some good hits. Not as good as I would have liked, but they're definitely not going to be able to put their firepower all, to, all down in one go. Yeah, they're going to get... They're going to get chewed up. From our... From our men on the hill. These poor devils. Heal artillery all focus on that last unit of guns. Yeah. You don't need to. Ooh. You guys aren't shooting at who I told you to shoot at. But yeah, their, their infantry wasn't ever going to stand against that. So let's get our howitzers to start. Firing on the flank. So I don't even think we're going to get screwed over from deployment. I mean, I don't see where they're coming in. I don't really need to chase them down either. back here. Yep. Spot them coming down the hill. There we go. The quick climb's coming in. And this flanking force they sent to try and advance around the town is uh, going to get significantly damaged before they even get close. Yep, there goes the 33rd. You guys are shooting at the Artillery, correct? Amen. Load and fire in your own time. More cavalry. Fortieth just getting cut down. Quick climb's coming in over here. Or it might have already come in. Nope, there it goes. Yeah, you hit the 43rd. Those two units are broken. You guys hit the 7th. Beautiful. My guard decor. Get over here to intercept the general's bodyguard. Leave my artillery, isn't it? Really doing too much. Do I have to give them the orders to attack them individually? Another general's bodyguard, regiment of horse, line infantry. Oh, okay, so they're coming in from here. Not sure where from, as they're scrambling down from the mountains. Cause, get ready to cause the end of this declining empire. Yeah, the actual flank has been called off. You can retarget. Regiment of Horse, you guys are going to clear out the 43rd. That's going to be the end of them, surely. They're advancing to try to save their general, but it's not going to work. The general may well escape. And there he goes. Get my guard decor out of the way. Oh, it says, focus fire on the flank. Where's my other cavalry unit? It's up here. Let's bring my cuirassier down as well. A lot of cavalry coming in. OK, 
Okay, cavalry, cuirassier. Okay, they're on their way. Fight this new general's bodyguard, and there's a new regiment of horse. So this flank is going to pivot. And these units are going to be ready as a reserve when they run out of ammunition. Let's pick new artillery targets. Just focus on new infantry units coming in. Just stop them from hitting my infantry, that's all I care about. Let's kill another general. These men are going to cut down the 7th. They're already wavering as they get within range. Another general has been felled. They're shattered. Guard de corps smash into the line, the regiment of horse. Get the houses to both just keep dropping quick climb sort of here. I did see that weird teleporting going on. So I'm getting the quick climb quick climbing howitzers to just attack ground. Because no one's really in range, but by dropping shots here they will just do damage because they're all coming in on the same line. We're gonna lose a Okay, you guys can fire at will. You guys can fire at will carefully. Okay, good. Regiment of Horse has been killed. E men fire at will. Because even if you aim at the Regiment of Horse, which you shouldn't because they're already routing. Yo. Do they have any artillery or some such coming in? I don't think they do. Question is, do I advance off my beautiful defensive position? Because look at that. Beautiful. You hit the 18th regiment, you hit the second. All my artillery is trying to hit. No one in particular. The armed citizenry aren't going to be claiming victory anytime soon. What I will do is actually send my cavalry in to knock out Violock Arm Citizenry. And make these guys form a... Or reform, or form a new defensive line to help destroy the head of the column. And the heavy cavalry are going to annihilate these Violock Armed Citizenry types. And you guys are going to stay ready in case you, they run out of ammo. And you guys are going to push up. And we can start to chew up their column. All my field artillery engage the cavalry. I mean, the 18. What hope have they got, realistically? You guys aren't actually within range. So we may end up advancing off of our defensive position. And then these four units can take position above the hill. Oh, it's an excellent quick climb here. Keep on hitting the units. You guys all drop into square. Retarget my artillery to hit that regiment of horse back there. Three pound of horse artillery at the rear is actually too far away. The 15th regiment again try and flank around, hit the edge of my line. Let's begin 
the fight back. We're going to clear out that infantry position so we don't have to worry there. You guys are going to charge the 15th before they have a chance to do too much. You guys can re pivot like so. Oh, they're flying. The regiment of horses joined in. So again, this might cause the ultimate demise of our just exhaustion and destruction of our cavalry. But it's a worthwhile trade. Understandably, this unit here is upset about being shot at. But they won't be as upset as the... Uh, ooh, as the resulting Spanish infantry. Let's advance. Because these guys are being... Yeah, they were being shot at by the um, by the um, their infantry as well as artillery. So let's bring another unit in. Send my a unit of guard to call back to fight them. You guys are engaging formation. Let's switch to round shot and engage. Some of these far off targets with our howitzers. Advance. Yeah, I see you guys trying to be sneaky. That's why you guys are going to switch back to quicklime. Slightly out of range there, but that will soon be remedied. Okay, they've both been knocked out. Let's bring the cavalry back. Yeah, just charge the artillery. Let's bring this infantry line round the front. Let's get these guys inside the house you guys hunker down outside yeah the, gun, the guns are gone all our artillery open up on the 12 pounders yeah i think they are soon to be extinguished the fifth regiment have been annihilated it's both focus fire on the 45th You guys can pivot and fire on the flank. Artillery. I mean, I appreciate I am advancing them dangerously far ahead of the line. We're just putting out so much damn firepower. So much fire. Get these marines around onto the flank of this unit. Get my cavalry around, because I mean they're against dragoons and regiment of horse, and they will probably take down my cavalry. Ooh, those guys got smacked by quickline. And their cavalry is moving to respond. So if you guys can reload and knock out the 44th, that would be excellent. Get my marines to form an actual infantry position, the same as you guys. Let's 
We are very much sending these guys into the meat grinder. Soon they're going to run out of ammunition, but by god, they're going to kill many, many Spaniards. Bit of a one-on-one -on -one here, but that's going to be fine. That's going to go to our men. You guys are going to take up a position outside of the building. Advance. So you're waiting for the opportune moment. go. Both the howitzers drop shells onto the 13th. Set our field artillery and try hit the 12th. Yeah, fundamentally we just need our infantry to push up, make their cavalry commit, and then I'll know where to throw my cavalry. Forty fifth, uh, they're going down. Hundred thirty third, you go knock out those guns. gone. Let's form the line because we're about to get the 4th Regiment marching in. We've cleared out the units that we're trying to flank because who's this? The 4th Regiment. Folks fire them with our artillery. My howitzers just cease fire. And then are all reloading. Gunners are there? They, yeah, they were. They were thinking about coming back. These Cazadors are going to put down some spikes. Yeah. Clear out of the 4th Regiment. Just keep pushing. Field artillery cease fire. So they, they're happy just let my cavalry just sit here and just just uh oh they're not so happy their cazadors were doing up to no good is the cavalry actually coming in You guys get out of squares and just push up. You guys charge the regiment of horse. Because you can. You guys go charge the third regiment. Got a square here that's going to pick off the dragoons. You go killed the, the general of, the, the, of their... Uh, Supporting forces, so these three units is given different targets so the Marines can go fire at or line up to fire at the second regiment. You guys might actually do that. There we go, we're gonna clear out one horse artillery team, catch the Cazador, the regiment of horse are routing. These dragoons that look rather nice in their yellow coats are about to get a volley from the 14th foot guards. You haven't fired a shot. And this regiment of foot are also going to open up. 
that's how I wanted to deal with their dragoons. Don't worry, cavalry, there's spikes around. Don't get into mischief. There we go, and these dragoons have been have been shot from their horses. I mean they look like pretty good dragoons to be fair. Should have to recruit some of them for my Spanish campaign. Awesome. So long, Spain. You were good, but not good enough. Sardinia has been has been captured. Olivier Bousset. You men replenish the dockyard, which we can get rid of. Let's upgrade the silver mining complex. Let's give you guys metal roads. Soon, Genoa will be ours as well. So the Austrians do have some troops down here at Tangier. Do you have a university or anything like that? You do. So let's get rid of both these naval hospitals, because they are surplus to requirements. can't really recruit anything or do anything special but we do have an army here recruiting in Madrid so let's what do you need get rid of that militia for a start let's take a light cavalry and see if we can get any in any interesting infantry let's get a let's get a lance of guard How many garrison guards can we get? One. Can we get a fusilier unit? We can. So, oh, we don't have any um, damned artillery. So it's going to be three units of... Okay, let's get a garrison guard unit just because we want some sturdy infantry, but we are going to try and get some artillery from Paris. Because Paris is one of the few places I can actually recruit. No, wait. Can I no longer... God. Okay, 12 pounders in Lisbon. Do not upgrade this building. Because for whatever reason, it means I can't recruit 12 pounders anymore. Yeah, same situation here in Tangier. Interesting. Let's repair this building here. Ah, I've thought about this before. And you're also going to join them. There's three artillery units, three artillery pieces, and one Lancer Guard. Armel Barrett. Barrett. Barret. Congratulations, you can get a rifleman as a general. So get some curiosity yeah, get a unit of Lancer Guards. Don't want any damn puckle guns. Yeah, 12 pounders. So I don't know, so what we're recruiting from this screen, it means I don't really care where they come from. I'm just going to, they are going to get here. So that's probably the better way to do it. Actually, can I recruit another? Yeah, there we go. So we've got two skirmishes and one army. Sweet. Let's combine the seconds. Let's move this sloop over to Antwerp. Ignore that fleet there, because they're not they're not doing anything. Let's combine you guys. Let's take this elite fleet. So, I mean, they are up to no good, but we are also sieging them. That's one of our many, many lists of things to do. Okay, down here. Down here, we'd actually rather like them to make the first move. I mean, I could push. Well, if I push, it means we have to fight. That's quite a major battle there, so let's not do that yet. Obviously, you've, you're, covering, you're covering the space down to the south could clear off that Austrian unit. There's a lot of re recruitment, reinforcement needs to happen here. Ooh, 
Okay, so Jeanne Mirabeau. Hey, Theodore's relative from Louisiana. Oh, he's from Louisiana. Okay, let's take you two units. Let's take you and a infantry unit. Waiting for your orders. There we go. The new man can go join Horace Lefranc, who is going to be an artillery man. Any further orders? Maximilien Mortier. So Arms. you need howitzers. Between 12 and 24, I mean, I know 24 provides more firepower, but I, I've never really noticed too much of a, a difference. Um, okay, so let's take... Oh. See if I can get you guys further away. Because that's... No. <laughs> that seems silly to take St. Petersburg. I do remember we have tried to demand surrender before, but they didn't take it. So you're ready and willing, waiting for the Swedish to come on. You're sieging Königsberg, which is pretty awesome. And down here, down here, we've got so many of our armies are back up, to, back up in good condition. It's really important. So we've got Bastien Perrault. Ready for okay, first of all, let's combine and solidify the front up here. That's rebels. Ready and awaiting orders, Your Majesty. Okay, you guys are gonna lose your cav you're gonna lose your cavalry to Nicolas Molinier. You're gonna go up and back up this army here. You do just need to push the Ottomans as is tradition. So we're probably gonna take Marcel Lorat can advance into the ground up here. And then that's four armies ready to advance on Louisiana. So let's take Bastien Perot. You want to go hit Kamal Siri and push them back towards Yerevan. Because we've got just such we've got we've got a whole load of troops in the Middle East and I wanna get this Blitzkrieg uh, blitzing. <laughs> You know, we've done so much fighting in Iraq that it would be nice to uh, push that out to somewhere else. We still need to take out Persia. Well, it means it means that there will be the Ottomans will be gone, the Persians will be gone, Dagestan will be gone soon. I mean, this army has very little in the way of actual artillery, so it's very infantry based with some how it's a support okay you we're going to pull the line a bit funky but i'm going to sort that out ultimately i don't think we have to worry too much because the army itself is actually quite weak so this is quite a good army to deploy to fight them because we will be in a very advantageous position to chase them down yeah they've got some hidden units but Get them the cavalry up quickly. And the general's also going to be involved. Because we are... We will want to try and annihilate as many of their units as we can. So much so I might even run my, art my cavalry up. I mean, cavalry I'm not so bothered by. I just want to chew up all their infantry. I know they're not good infantry, but it's just another unit that's not going to fall back to Yerevan and need to be taken out. And these gun gunners are on foot, fleeing. Yeah, there they are. So these two units are going to curve. Yeah curve out the front to try and shield the 
the, the uh, pursuing cavalry a little better. Hello. So this is where all their light infantry was hiding, is it? Let's get the cavalry up quick. Hi, bashy bazooks. They've got some bashy bazooks hidden in here, but lots of rifles, Armenian archers. Azar. Get my heavy cavalry into the fight as well because they've got bashy bazooks that need taken care of. So many delicious men to kill. Curacier, take the Tatar. We want the light cavalry now over here. The Nizam rifles I want to kill. My meaning arch is a gravy. I mean, I'm not even looking at the rest of the fight because I know it's going to be fine. So I want his ours to die. Well, to be honest, I want as many as many of them as possible to die. You can chase down the bashies. You try chase down some of those guys that are routing. The general's bodyguard hit the semini. Everyone's already gone. Well, actually, I might get because you're you're us the air. Let's send you to go after that unit there. Beautiful destruction. So you're not going to go after them. You're going to go hit this unit of Azar. You guys are all fire well off. So you guys all... Sometimes it says if you highlight a group of units that are fire at will... Uh, some of them are fire it will off. It won't show them all as being... Well, it will show them all as being fire it will off when they aren't. So that's where I turn them on then turn them back off again. So the Curiosity are going to win against the Semini. Then they're going to charge on and hit the Feline Musketeers. you guys over here as well. I mean, if you can knock out the Kurdish Hillmen, that would be uh, excellent. And then you'd go after that unit of Kurdish Hillmen. But they will likely escape because they are so close to the edge of the map. You don't bother chasing down the Tata. There's no point chasing after cavalry. <sighs> Ooh, I was hovering over the End turn or the end game button. So let's accept those guys are going to escape. Come on, one Kurdish horseman left. Let's get you guys back. You guys both try hit that unit. You guys stop firing. I mean, the hand mortars up in the di up in the in the distance would be what I'd prefer to kill, but they aren't going to get them. There's only one Semini here to, to kill. So let's assume that the hand mortars are out of action. And just focus on these guys. That's a delicious chunk of enemy troops that aren't going to go back to 
Yerevan and bolster the defences of their last city. Come on. Ah, they got away. But again, decisive victory. That's the word I like to see. That's 270 men. That's 1,600. Beautiful. Sebastian, you men replenish. Yes, my lord. Child of Castor, push up behind them. You guys advance up to the edge of their control zone, and then push up behind. Yeah, you've got Theodore's army. This army here at Ganjo is just holding and replenishing. These guys are going to stay where they are, because Dagestan might just come back. And if I try to pull back, they might counterattack. We're still fighting outside Astrakhan. The Swedes are advancing up here, and that's why we've got another army coming up to help out. I mean, at some point, yes, my lord. It, would be, it would be advisable to start pushing these guys back as well. Yes, sir. So down here needs more men. Well, it did. Oh yeah, it does. So you guys advance up, you guys advance along. Let's also get you over here. Because I'm pretty sure that's not it either. Yeah, there's a few... There's a few units. We can pick them out. Pick them off with a... Uh, with a siege. These guys are going to go and attack this cluster of troops. I think everything else has been done. You're on, so you're on your way to Italy. You're, you're replenishing while they get over hating you. We have Austria with just random <laughs> random dumps of troops in Algeria. So I'm not going to attack here yet. I want to hit end turn because it's been so long since I've hit end turn on a Louisiana campaign. I want to see. I want to watch things catch up. You've also got the fight at Konigsberg. Pushing in the Middle East. Well, I mean, their days are numbered. Yeah, they're going to have to start. They have to real they've soon realised they've got lots of threats in uh, this channel up to Bavaria to manage. Warsaw's looking a lot more vulnerable than it used to be. They're positioning themselves for an attack, or at least to, for me to intercept them. Yeah, you can raid if you like. What? What a scallywag. So I've got this army, the army in Cologne, that I think can march east to hit that Austrian army and send them backwards. Austrian rebels are advancing on the capital. They're not going to win, but, you know, one can dream. It would be great to open up the North African front because then we can smash into Cairo from the west. But it's going to take some time. They're all getting ready. They're clustering together to make it a grand battle when the end of Yerevan has been called. Good. They've ceded control of a critical river in the uh, Middle East region. Okay, and they've started... So they're going to call all of their reinforcing armies in to attack me in a defensive battle. And they've understandably attacked my weaker army, but it's still pretty good. But yeah, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. And this will probably be the last battle of the Ottoman Empire, because once we win, they'll all be pushed back and it'll just be the capital left. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for potentially the end of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.